Hi, it's Lawrence Gannon here with Queen Anne's County Sanitary Department. Uh, we're going to give you a small little update on the Postal Road construction project. And I'm here with uh, Lloyd Barron, who's our resident inspector for the project. And uh, Lloyd, uh, where are we with the Postal Road uh, with the excavations? As far as the excavations are concerned, we have two uh, water services left to put in, which we're scheduled to do tomorrow, weather permitting. And the final excavation will be the tie-in um, some point in the near future. So, as you can see, uh, the majority of the excavations are completed on Postal Road. Uh, we still have one more portion of the sewer force main to be completed, and that's going to be located at the east end of Postal Road in the slip ramp area. Uh, and we can probably head down there and we'll take a look and I'll give you a little update on how the equipment's going to be setting up there. Okay, we're up here on the east end of Postal Road now uh, by the Allen Flowers uh, businesses. And to, for the update, the slip road is going to be closed, uh, but this entrance to the Island Flowers will remain open. We're going to barricade off uh, just on the west side of the Island Flowers entrance so you'll still have access into Island Flowers. Now, that being said, the whole slip ramp or the cars coming up now will be closed for traffic and the large drill rig equipment will be set up in this area, also in the green area, and even more equipment over by the where there's a, the loader now on the opposite side of Postal Road where the uh, uh, storage area is. Uh, so it's going to be it's going to be busy right here in this intersection, but the traffic will still flow uh, coming off the overpass onto Postal Road heading west. It will still flow coming east. You go up towards the overpass, and then you can still take a right and come on to Route 18. So the traffic should flow fairly well. Okay, we're back here uh, where the large drill rig is going to be setting up, and uh, Lloyd's going to give us a little. A little history and uh, how this pipe works and how it sticks together and how it's going to go from this point all the way down to the Safeway gas station. The, the pipe comes in by tractor trailer on 40 foot lengths. The 40 foot lengths are then squared up on the ends, highly heated and then pressure squeezed together which is like welding the pipe together. Once you do that, your 40, 40 foot length now becomes an 80 foot length. That process is repeated for the entire length of the project until you get what you need. Down at this end where the drill rig is going to set, he's going to bore a hole big enough to fit the pipe through. It's going to go all the way up to the Safeway parking lot where the gas station is and another, it's called a receiving pit, will be there. Once that receiving pit's dug, they will take out the, uh, the drill rig and put a bit on it that grabs the pipe and we'll actually pull it all the way back to where we're standing right now. It's a, a tedious process, but it's a low impact process. We're not tearing up the roads. If it was an open cut job, we'd be lucky to get maybe 100 foot a day, and then you're talking potholes and, and major repair work. So it's one of the most cost effective ways to do a job this size. And just to reiterate, these businesses will be open. Island Flowers will have the entrance open and the Periwinkle uh, entrance will be open on the back on the west side of the slip ramp. Hopefully we'll be out of here in a few more weeks. Uh, the drill rig is expected to be uh, maybe six weeks and then that should put us uh, at about a 90% complete for the job. For updates and information about construction on Postal Road, visit QAC.org.